So, I bought a stolen truck. Let's get into it. We got uh, one wheel on with one lug nut because I can't take any of the little ones off. There was one loose one. But uh, we're about to put it on the trailer and take it home. So once it's home, we're gonna go ahead and show you everything that's wrong with it because it does need some work. All right, we got it up with one lug nut. <laughs> but uh, this Badlands winch is putting in work. So that's good. So we got this 2000 Silverado and it is a two wheel drive, it's not four wheel drive, but it is lifting, has a body lift and suspension lift. But I mean, it was stolen. Let's start with the inside. So it's very trashed. And if you look at the steering, the key is all messed up. Turn signal, non-existent. Steering lock, nah, it doesn't lock. And the dash is gone. This truck was actually stolen down where I live. Uh, a lot of these are getting stolen. A lot of cars are getting stolen here. And this was one that was stolen and then the owner recovered it, didn't want to fix it anymore. So he said, I'm selling it. And the people who stole it left the nice bottle in here. Uh, I don't know what else is in here. A lot of trash. Looked like they went through everything. Oh, the dash is right here. Let's go. There's no radio, so we gotta fix that. The top, everything's all opened up. This looks like it's broken, missing a piece. That looks messed up too. Light messed up. He was saying that the cops told them that usually the people at steel cars take everything off to look for air tags. It is missing the tail lights and the headlights as well. I think I'm gonna keep the sticker, but I'm gonna put in a jar. Let's go in a jar. So we definitely have to fix those issues. Um, just to, I wanna see if we can get it running before I put more money into it. This does have the 5.3 V8, so that's pretty cool. Um, in here, they stole the intake, and this truck also had a sound system, which uh, they cut off. And the main part is the fuse box here. This is what's really messed up. I feel like once we fix this, it'll run. But all the wire harness have ripped wires. I don't know why they would do this. This green one's the most messed up with most of the wires ripped out. This one looks okay. This one looks fine. This one looks okay. And then these are cut as well. So we definitely have our wiring jobs to do here. So pretty much doing this and then the key. And I feel like it should turn on, but I don't know. Uh, the guy said that it was running. He also said that it does have 190,000 miles. So that's pretty good news. So we will see once we hook up all the wiring. Um, I don't know if I should just go to the junkyard, pick up a whole fuse box and just cut off, cut off the pigtails and solder them that way that'll probably be easier but we will see no battery everything else is pretty much there they also took the cats so no cats right now straight headers it also does have fabtec suspension um but it does have a body lift as well so that's why it's pretty tall in the rear i think the wheels are 35 these are uh not my wheels i have to give them to the owner of the truck he wants them back for the price you got it for i don't think it's a bad deal it does have some dents here a little bit here this fender's messed up, you can see that. This fender is also pushed back as well, and you can see it's bent there. The door actually hits that. And then some scratches there, nothing too bad. I mean, overall, I feel like this truck, we can fix it and get it going, but we will see. Now, the question that I have for you, so if we get this running, like, what should we do with it? We could use the motor and transmission as this, put into something else. We could get the truck running, just use it as is, or we could build the truck up, do something cool with it, I don't know. For now, it's just thinking of getting it running and using it as a daily, fixing it up, make it clean, fix all the little dents and all that, so I don't know. My main thing that I wanna do with it is get it running, make sure that it's actually gonna turn on, the engine's healthy, the transmission works, and then go from there. I'm not sure if we're gonna build it, if we're gonna keep it stock and just fix everything up, or actually do something different with it i don't know but uh this is the new project and if you guys have any tips on these let me know leave them down in the comments because i do need it this is new for me so anyways if you guys like the truck and have any recommendations leave them down below in the comments and i'll see you guys on the next video when we start working on this thing peace